Hey, how are you? I'm Chris Robin, a.k.a. at Detroit Beastie, here with Team Riser Fall to talk about some Beasties Boomers on Monday, August 22nd. Already the end of the month. Preseason football is rolling, so that, that only leads me to one conclusion. NFL Week 1 is right on the doorstep, and you're, this is where you're going to want to be. Use promo code BEASTIE. You'll get $10 off your first month, but why? I, there, there's so many other good things going on here. You got 90% off coupons. You got 75% off coupons, and it's all inclusive. You get free rankings, stacks, cores, everything, even access to Fantasy Cruncher with, with any promo code that you use so make sure you get there before week one kicks off and there's a lot more coming bottom of the barrels right around the corner single game dfs videos are upon us so hit your wagon here i promise you won't be let down when we look at today's baseball schedule it's about nine games all day but true to form i just care about the main slate which is eight games and that locks at 705 so let's dig in let's look at some things and i'll see you on the flip side Hey, and we are back once again. Chris Robin, aka at Detroit Beastie, here with Team Riser Fall to talk about Monday's Beasties Boomers. As you can see, uh, the Study Hub is not up right now. Granted, uh, life gets in the way of our fantasy life sometimes, and we just have to go back to our roots. So this morning, today, afternoon, whenever you're watching this, we're going old school with player graphics, like you did since day one, right? So let's get this thing going. And again, uh, as we're going through here, I got a couple ideas and a couple things we're going to roll with here but today i love the idea of the subway series right i was like should i go uh, you know uh, st louis is just rolling and they're playing chicago today i have that final score like four to three like nothing crazy i mean it's oh you know seven total runs that's kind of cool but we're looking to you know just really hammer home something today milwaukee at the dodgers ah that just didn't feel right so to me the white Sox at kansas city i mean we could go down the list i mean i could do this all day i could go over every game and give you a score and a little betting trend. I mean, that's what I enjoy to do. I did this all over the weekend, but there's something about the New York Mets playing the Yankees uh, from a guy from Detroit. It's uh, it, it, the Subway Series. I, I'll never understand it because I'm not a New York guy. I'm not a New Jersey guy. I'm sure you guys catch the Subway. That's why it's called the Subway Series. But when we look at this one, there's a lot to like. As I said, Monday, today, 7.05, first pitch. The Mets are actually the favorite in this one. Minus 170 here. And when we look at this one, uh, there's... Uh, Max Scherzer's pitching. How can you go? I mean, they, they have just an absolutely just smoked bevy of talent at the pitcher position do the Mets. The Yankees law have lost 20 of their last 30 games. Uh, they look back. I, I believe Aaron Judge got beaned with the foot, or excuse me, with the baseball the other day. Alex Manoa, they shook hands at first base. That's all done and over with. But when we look at Domingo Herman is pitching for the Yankees today, one and two, 4.45 ERA. It's okay. I mean, there are, are the Yankees trying to figure this thing out before they get into the playoffs, right? They've lost what 13, 14, series in a row after everything was all sunshine and rainbows but here we are when we look at the top of this order here it all starts with Brandon Nemo who would have thought we'd be saying that you know a few months ago Brandon Nemo 4-7 on FanDuel and then or excuse me on DraftKings he's $4,700 and on DraftKings Brandon Nemo is only 2800 bucks so far so good for Brandon Nemo 114 games uh, you gotta love his on base percentage at 352 74 runs scored in comparison to only 42 RBI he's got 11 bombs and he's walked 48 times no steals nothing of the nature but Brandon Nemo sets the table sets the bar in a way for the Mets when he gets on base when we look at Brandon Nemo just a little bit of a batting profile here uh, against Domingo Herman or just overall when we look at it uh, his swinging uh, swinging percentage or squ swinging ball rate excuse me is about 45.4 percent he swings at the first pitch 60 percent of the time and in comparison his whiff rate is only 20.1 percent which is pretty dang good there's like a red square around it and come to find out red means good right you thought red means stop we always talking you know stop signs and and green and yellow when we go from there but right now a big red square is is great at 20.1 percent in terms of his whiff rate as we go down the list look no further than starling Marte. we know what this guy brings to the table starling Marte so far uh, is 3600 bucks on fanduel and on DraftKings, Marte 
is 3,000, or excuse me, 5,000 even. These numbers are, are very tiny and my little eyes are just waking up in a way. So here we go from there. When we look at Starling Marte, I know a lot of folks look to acquire this guy in seasonal formats. That deadline has probably passed us by here. But when you look at Marte, 105 total games, 348 on base, 71 runs, 55 RBI, 14 bombs, and get this, no drum roll please, 17 total stolen bases. I mean, this guy, yes, what is he in his early 30s, 31, 32. I know a lot of us get sucked into that that young uh, vortex, that dynasty vortex. But right now, uh, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Why would we screw it with taking uh, Starling Marte in and out of our lineups? When we look at his ground ball percentage, Starling Marte, 50.5% in comparison to his, his pull rate, which is 39.9%. Today, uh, when you look at the game, it's it's in Yankee Stadium, right? So left field, we know what we're going to get out of left field. Right field is a short, uh, short, short porch. And when you look at his pull rate, it's it's not as high as we, we'd we like to think in some cases. It's 39.9% for Marte's pull rate. In comparison, let me bring one up here in front of me. You, when you look at like Michael Perez, this guy does this guy ever play 45.6% pull rate? And so right-handed bat, guy's going to pull the ball and, and we'll see what we get. But to me, Starling Marte at his price tag is worth all the fanfare. As we go down the list, Francisco uh, Lindor, Lindor, as it stands right now, thirty-seven hundred bucks on Fanduel and on DraftKings right now. Uh, Lindor is fifty-seven hundred bucks. I I hate to say this, right? I I'm not. I know a lot of you are, are, are will have all eyes on the series, Mets Yankees Subway Series. Yes, use my radio announcing voice. <laughs> and when you're in on one of these New York teams, it's like it, it it consumes us. It's all we do. I'm all in for the Yankees. I'm all in uh, uh for the Mets here. So when we look at Pete Alonso, in a way, to me, from just a a guy in Detroit, a sports betting guy, Lindor has been uh, okay. 80 runs, 84 RBI, 21 home runs, 13. 15 stolen bases, and when you look at his overall average, uh, 274 batting average so far this season on 122 total, excuse me, in 122 total games started, uh, I think that's phenomenal, yet you're still going to get sports talk radio, and you're still going to get folks on social media that just go, you know what, Lindor's a bomb, he's not worth it, I mean, what more do you want this guy to do in terms of, of, of production? When we look at Lindor's plate discipline, uh, it, it, it tells a, a completely different story story, right? His, his his chase rate is all the way is down, actually. First pitch swinging sits at like 43-something percent here. So to me, when Lindor gets into the batter's box, it's he he has very good ABs, right? Let me go over those numbers again. I, I think I was, again, bringing up Brandon Nemo's numbers here. But Lindor, 46.5 percent with the zone. When he sees the zone there, the zone percentage there, 67.3 percent zone swinging percentage. So that's great. He sees the zone. He swings at, at pitches in the zone 67.3% of the time. Again, swings at the first pitch 56.2% of the time. That's fine. We love to see that. And his whiff rate is just as good, if not better, than Brandon Nemo at around 21.8% here. So those two dudes, exclusively uh, Francisco Lindor, who, fingers crossed, will steal a base tonight, uh, were on the right page. Let's move down to fourth in the list, and, and we'll start getting this thing done and get you the heck out of here. Uh, Pete Alonzo at first base, uh, however you want to put it, DH, but that's probably going to be Vogue tonight. But Pete Alonzo, 4000 bucks on FanDuel, and Pete Alonzo on DK is 5400 bucks. We all know and love the polar bear. When we look at him so far, 122 total games, this guy's uh, made of stone. Nothing hurts or affects this guy. Uh, 270 batting average, 350 on base, 69 runs, 102 total RBIs so far this season, uh, 30 home runs, and three stolen bases. I'm going to leave uh, Pete Alonzo alone in, in this one. I'm not going to, you know, really rake him over the coals because this guy's been uh, outstanding. And the only difference between uh, Pete Alonzo, let's say, and, and Francisco Lindor would have to be, you, you know, the money that they're paying, right? Pete Alonzo isn't, uh, I'm sure he's rich, he's getting paid well, but off the top of my head, you have to give me a benefit of the doubt here. I know Lindor came over and he signed like this massive contract here, but Pete Alonzo, he's making good on that. 102 RBI I said in comparison to Lindor is only 84, but I'm telling you, as it stands right now, the Yankee, or excuse me, the Yankees and the Mets are going to put together one heck of a series, and I want in on it game one. Let me get my face in here, and we'll get the heck out of here. 
and we are back. Thanks for being here. Thanks for sitting with me during this video. I don't have my uh, my actual uh, certain set of notes here because, uh, you know, real life gets in the way sometimes. Sometimes you got to get up like an adult at four or five in the morning and make sure you're at the office by like seven in the morning. So we got together, at least I did, and put together some sort of a video. And as the day kind of progresses, I'll pick through it and make sense of it. Hopefully the video wasn't, uh, wasn't a complete uh, waste of your time. I wouldn't say that, but again, I'm my own uh, self. I, I'm hardest on myself here. So get to the website, Team Riser Fall. Use promo code BEASTIE. You'll get $10 off your first month of premium services. Or while you're there, you can go to the new subscribe now link. Every day, every month, you know, Mitch and, and everybody here, all the coaches are making this website better. They're fine-tuning this site in every possible way. Happy and proud to be a part of it. Hopefully you'll come along for the ride and join me as we get into the NFL season. So before I split, let's stack up the Mets. I think the Mets hang six or seven runs in this one. And again, is this game fully stackable, Chris? I don't know. Absolutely not, to be sure. Let's stack the Mets. They hang six or seven runs, and we can leave this thing all well and good. Until I see you tomorrow, be good. Talk to you. Bye.